Hi, I'm Freeman Rabowski, and I want to tell you a story. I have a photo here of my grandmother, one of my maternal grandmother, who was born in 1890. Her name was Gracie, and that's her twin, Lacey, with her um, in 1890. And 30 years later, when this country gave women the right to vote, my grandmother still could not vote. It took 40 more years for her to fight for the right to vote as an American citizen. And the story I've told so often is that in Alabama, blacks often in certain counties uh, had to pass the Alabama literacy test. Get a chance when you, when you can and Google it and see if you can answer the questions from the Constitution. My grandmother was only allowed to go to the sixth grade before she had to begin working in hot cotton fields. Remember, she was born just um, 30 years, not even 30 years after the, the Emancipation Proclamation. And what's significant is that she loved to read, and she would read with me and with my mother, and she was determined to pass the Alabama literacy test. When she first went in and was told she had to pass it, she watched white men put an X by their names because they could not write, and yet they could vote. And after two times of seeing that the questions were more difficult than she could answer, she was just amazingly entrepreneurial and convinced several women with her to go again, to have the grit to go again. And what they had done on that second time, I should say, is to memorize questions. And they put the questions together. And I remember my grandmother working with my mother on those questions. And then my grandmother would have me answer, ask her those questions about the Constitution. And if you'd heard her talking, you would have thought she was an attorney. She really understood the significance of our Constitution and of those questions, as difficult as some were. And when she came to our house the third time after having studied so hard, she looked me in my eyes and she said, I am now a voting citizen of the United States of America with tears. And we all cried. She was 70 plus years old, had worked for this country all of her life. And so when I pass this photo every day, I am thinking to myself, how dare I not vote? And what can I do to let people know people have died so that we can have this right? Vote and keep hope alive. Thank you.